So, a viewer a while back asked me, knowing that Count, uh, Tulsi Gabbard is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, do I still support her? Absolutely, and I support the Council on Foreign Relations. I also support the United Nations, especially the World Health Organization, and I support um, the, um, I said the Order of American, the Organization of American States, the Pan American Agreement type thing. I support a lot of these ideas. I also support the Rockefeller Foundation, which has funded a lot of anti-aging research and anthropology and everything else. A lot of these organizations are um, pushed as anti-civilization or pro-globalism. Uh, they're not really. Uh, what people need to understand is diplomacy and peace beats war and death. Okay, now a lot of first generation fascists like Sir Oswald Mosley um, and Schickel Gruber and Benito Mussolini, they understood this. Fascism and third positionism, generally speaking, is not pro-war. This is a misinterpretation of fascism and third positionism by, well, by the mainstream. Uh, so... The support of things like the Council on Foreign Relations and the United Nations and the Organization of American States, these things are not necessarily anti-third positionist, okay, or even anti-U.S. sovereignty. The thing is, there are some things, like I do not support the U.N.'s concept that abortion is a human right. I do not believe that abortion is a human right. I think that's wrong. Okay, I think that's the opposite of a human right. I think that's taking away the right to live of the child. Okay, and we all know my stances on abortion regarding uh, rape and things like that, so don't try and act like, you know, oh, I'm inconsistent. No, I've made plenty of videos on this. Um, so my point would be is this. Diplomacy and peace trump war and death. And this was shared by Benito Mussolini, Sir Oswald Mosley, and uh, Schickel Gruber. So, what people need to understand is, to support Tulsi Gabbard, despite being a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, is not really that crazy. Also, I'm going to leave links to the Organization of American States, the UN, the World Health Organization, the Rockefeller Foundation, um, and various other of these groups that have been maligned by mainstream conspiracy theorists to th make people think that they're behind all sorts of misdoings. Um, it's just odd that so many people uh, adhere, like what it is is people have a natural fear of, of people making policy. But the thing is what should ease people's minds with the Council on Foreign Relations is many of the people in the Council on Foreign Relations like Tulsi Gabbard are regular people. Okay? Tulsi Gabbard is a regular person. And uh, that's all for this video. It's it just... It, it, it actually causes my head to hurt that so many people adhere to idiotic conspiracy theories. There are real conspiracies in the world. The Council on Foreign Relations, the, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Organization of American States, etc. are not those. Yes, there's corruption in these organizations, just like there's corruption in every country's politics. Okay, If you want less corruption in U.S. politics, you should probably vote for Tulsi Gabbard. And I'm also going to leave a link to Sir Oswald Mosley regarding what his thoughts were on war, okay? These organizations are set up to prevent war. That's the, out, that's the reason they're there.